Hello everyone, this is Dr. Fish. All right, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you something that I recently discovered. I should have, I guess, figured this out a while back, but you know, based on, this is Flicky, obviously, and I love this product. Um, I just don't like the, the, <laughs> the credits, of course, I don't really like any site that has credits. You know, you gotta, you gotta buy credits every month and all of that. Or you can use up your credits and then you got to buy some more but it is what it is I still love the product and so what I want to talk about in the video is this I want to talk about basically what I just recently did was I created a music video uh, because I have another channel it's called at giggle tunes and tales giggle tunes and tales you want may, may want to check that out because I have quite a few kid videos on there and and some of them are rap videos and and because we're talking about rhyming right rhythm and rhyme uh and that's that's how pretty much all of us have probably grew up learning in some kind of way it may not have been what we would call hip-hop or rap but it does work uh, for especially for children and so i created this mu music video a while back and I kind of struggled trying to make sure the music that I created, now and I'll explain that in just a second, that I created was sync with the captions. And so I kept trying to, you know, adjust the timing and everything, and it's slightly off here, and it's right on target, you know, in another scene. And it, it really reminds me, some of you probably remember Movie Maker, it reminded me of Movie Maker, same thing all over again. But of course today we got, it's AI on steroids. So in order to create a music video that syncs with your captions, again, I should have known this, you can create the video first, add, bring in your music, okay? And I'll tell you where I got that from. And, and after you create the video, download it, and then I'll show you a place where you can upload it and add the captions to it again that's something I should have known being a tech person but anyway you learn something new every day so the first thing I did was I created the lyrics based on the idea of basically teaching children you know just some basic facts about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. okay just some basic things and it's so many different things that we could use hip-hop for to teach children because many children, again, learn by way of music. Any child, I don't care what nationality, what background they come from, any child can learn by way of music. Uh, you remember how you learn your ABCs, for example. So the, the uh, site that I use is called Suno, S-U-N-O. Not really, well, I wouldn't say it's, it is expensive at all, to be honest. And you can create tons and tons of of uh, music on there play around with it you got to understand you can use chat GPT to help you create the lyrics tell chat GPT what you're trying to do it'll give you the lyrics and then I took those lyrics and I, I put them into Suno and I told Suno the style of music hip-hop and and I also asked chat GPT what else can I add to describe this kind of music for basically it's gonna be for children it's gonna be a rap song uh, and so got that information and once I got my lyrics then I would bring them here and I'm not gonna walk you all the way through this but I'll still take you through the steps I came here to the script option and I pasted it in so let's just say oh man I may still have it over here somewhere I'll just grab something just for the sake of grabbing it for now um, so here are my lyrics so you can see it in chat GPT and I'm just gonna grab this just just for the sake of for the purpose of this video and I'm gonna come in here and I only took just a portion I didn't grab all of it and then once I paste it in I'm gonna go to next and since I knew it wasn't gonna be a short it was gonna be really I, I know you can get away with probably two minutes on a short but I went ahead and made it 16 by 9 so I made it landscape and I'm not, I don't choose any of these options because they don't really go with what I was trying to accomplish. And then I'm, I'll click skip. And this is where you're gonna change your, you gotta change your AI media right here. And I change it to, 
I change it to an anime, which is animation. Okay, I change it to that. And then I would click submit. Now I'm not gonna do that here because then it'll take some credits from me that I desperately need. And then so here's the finished product. So I'm just gonna play a portion of it just so you can see what I'm talking about. But I'm sure you notice when I showed you, you know, when we were here, there is voiceover there. And I'll show you how to fix that problem because you don't want to have your music and the voiceover <laughs> playing at the same time. So let me just play it just for a second so you can see what, what the end product is. Gather round, let me tell you the tale of a man who stood strong, he would never fail. From Atlanta, GA, came a leader so wise, with a dream so big, he would rise and rise. He said, no more hate, let's stand as one. Marching through the streets till the battle's won. Montgomery to DC, voices loud and clear, let freedom... All right, so you get the idea, and then again, that's the name of my channel, YouTube channel, Giggle Tunes and Tales. That's the other one that I have, and you may want to check that out. But at any rate, uh, the question is, how did I get the voiceover to be quiet? <laughs> you know, because again, you don't want the voice, you know, just, it's just a narrator. And, you know, you don't want narration on this when you just simply want the lyrics to simply appear on the screen so that the children can follow the lyrics on the screen. They're, they're actually learning, by, they're reading, uh, learning to read as well. And so, um, what I did was to quiet the voiceover, I click right there where it says voiceover, where it has the name, because you can't take it out, but you can quiet. You can, you can just bring the volume down to zero. And the music, and you have to do this for each scene. You come here and you click where the voiceover is. Notice where I'm clicking right here. You see my cursor? Click right there and I just turned it down, turned the volume down to zero and I kept going to each scene, I click on where the voiceover is right there, and then I would just turn it down to zero. And at that point, the video will simply, like what you saw, it will just simply play. Now there's something else that I had to do as well, because right here, when I click in this scene where the, where the lyrics are, this subtitle actually is defaulted, it's checked. Whenever you create a video in, in Flicky, this is defaulted. It's already checked. And so you have to uncheck it. And then once you, you know, once you click on it to uncheck it, you have to click apply to all scenes. In other words, take the captions out. That's what the subtitle is. It's just the captions that are flowing across. Because if you leave them in there and you got your music playing, right? The lyrics are saying one thing and the caption says something else. Because the caption will only follow the scenes and of course the voiceover is simply stating what's in the scene that you that was put into that particular scene so take your take your subtitles out apply to all and make sure you click on voiceover and turn that down and at that point you know of course you still want to kind of go and watch the video and you know it's gonna have, it still may have a few things. I think there's like maybe one spot somewhere in this video where you got an individual, they're moving their lips, but there's no, you know, the music, uh, the rapper in the music, I should say AI, is not saying anything. So it's kind of, you know, it's kind of strange, but it's only that one little spot in the video and I'm okay with that. But I love it because I can do I can do it the way I want to do it, and that is I can add my captions after I finish editing whatever I need to do. Now, one more thing I do want to mention. I had mentioned it already. This is why I was talking about you can create video. So right here, but just note that every time you click create video, because you know, these are static videos, you know, there is the, some some of my some of my pictures don't move, some of the images don't move. Others do. Others where I did choose, notice create video is not there. This this particular picture does move. In other words, there's animation there. But here I chose not to put anything there. But just know, this is what I said earlier, every time you click on create video, you are actually using more credits. Uh, it is what it is. 
So once you have it, then once you, you're satisfied with the whole video, then you would click download. Oh, one more thing I do want to show you. You may be wondering, how did I get my logo in there? You just come up here to layer and then you would click watermark and then it's going to open up and you want to, if it's not already uploaded in here, you can upload it, click on my and then upload your logo. Uh, I have a transparent logo um, that I uploaded in here and then it'll just it'll stay on every every scene okay so that's how you put it then you can position it you can make it bigger smaller like if I click on it here if you notice so yeah that's how I got the logo in there now uh, and then the next thing is you're gonna download and once you click download it's gonna go through the process and then you are ready to go it'll download to, to your computer the last step is what I mentioned earlier at first come over to Canva yeah I'm like how did I miss this because I'm big on Canva uh, didn't realize Canva has I'm still learning that Canva has so many different pieces free things that are free now I do have the paid version of Canva the education paid version of it but um, I brought it over, brought the video, uploaded it in here. All you got to do is just Google Canva captions, okay? And if you don't already have a Canva account, just sign up with Canva. I, I'm not sure if the captions is free for the free version of Canva. I believe it is. I'm not sure. You may want to check that out. But it was really easy. Once I uploaded it in, uh, another button came up and said add captions and I clicked add captions and it added these captions in So let's see what that looks like if I can get this back where I need it. I didn't mean to grab the video So here we go. Yo, gather round. Let me tell you the tale of a man who stood strong He would never fail from Atlanta GA came a leader so wise with a dream so big he was so, rise and rise. See, said no now more. this is actually the second one. I'm so sorry Actually, I was kind of playing with it, so you saw kind of an overlay there. Let me do it again. Gather round, let me tell you the tale. But if you notice, strong, you would never now, from Atlanta, GA, came a leader, so wise, see how the captions so are big, flowing with the no song more, itself. Let's stand as one, marching through the streets to the battles won. Montgomery, yeah, to see, voices loud. So it's perfect. It's perfect now. Now. You can change colors, which I was kind of playing around with the colors here of the caption. If you click here, I got some stuff in the way, and you go to effects, you can come in here and start playing around with these effects. You know, you can change the thickness of, of that, whichever one you're gonna go with. I probably would not go with this one. See, I don't know, I'm just not too crazy about the way it looks. Feel like it might bother people or you can click on that one or that one and then change the thickness you can change the color you know you can play with the colors like if you really let me go with a brighter not too bright and maybe somewhere in that neighborhood come back kind of lost it Anyway, my computer is kind of dragging at the moment. Um, but anyway, um, come on, right, maybe right there. So it's up to you, you know, you, you play with it. And then once you're done with that, um, then you can just, you know, sit here and just Gather watch ground, the video. You the tale of a man who stood strong, he would and never if you feel like you like the colors, even though I would not leave my colors that way, I would probably try to match what my logo looks like here <coughs> excuse me once you do that let me move this over once you do that then you would click share and you click download and it's going to download oh make sure you change this yeah 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 i'm thinking about a, i'm thinking about something else that i was doing earlier but go ahead and just download it as is and then it will wait it's coming in as a P. Yeah, I didn't want that. Let me download. Why is it doing that? Oh, I know why. Yeah, it's downloading like that because I was trying to play with something else, trying to download something else as as a JPEG. But it's going to download as as a video, MP4 video. And you click download. So yeah, make sure.
this is it should be defaulted to MP4, and then you're gonna download it, and then you'll you'll be ready to upload it into into YouTube. Now you, you know you may want to put an intro outro on your video. It's up to you. Um, what are those? Just look in Canva. Just type in Canva intro, and, and then Canva outro, and it'll you'll see what I'm talking about. In other words, it's like a an introduction at the beginning and then there's a closing like subscribe you know like subscribe and all of that wonderful stuff that we normally say on YouTube alright so hopefully it has helped uh, I thought it was I was like man I gotta share this gotta share this so um, if you have any questions just you know fire away um, you know just type your questions in in the uh, in the comments uh, and, and trust me I, I'll definitely respond to you so hopefully this helps and uh, I'll see you in the next video.